Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I want to share the shocking reason why I ended up eating two meals yesterday instead of one meal since the beginning of my one meal a day diet journey. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is just so it can be completely transparent with you and show that even sometimes I make mistakes with eating one meal a day. And yeah, the reason why I end up eating two meals is not shocking, but I just wanted to say that so I could grab your attention. So the reason why this happened yesterday is very, very simple. The day before yesterday, me and my friend Daniel went out and ate, and I was meant to have a smoothie before, and we took all of the different superfoods and protein powder with us, to get someone at his shop to make a smoothie for us and add that to it. And when they made it, they used really underripe fruits, it was awful, so I ended up not having that to break my fast. And then I just had two small cooked food meals. I also had a cake and also a muffin afterwards as well. And I didn't feel very, very full at all. It was a l not a lot of calories for me, I should say, at all. Maybe around 1,250 calories or so. And then we was meant to go to a new place that we'd become aware of recently that sells vegan ice cream. And as we got there, they'd closed. So yeah, I ended up skipping the smoothie and all of that additional ice cream, which are normally a lot, which gives me so many more calories. And I went straight home. So then the next following day, I found from the morning and throughout the whole day, I was just thinking about the food all day long. Even when I was being productive and busy and doing all of the things that I recommend in videos to suppress your appetite. And it was driving me mad. I still managed to fast for 22 hours, but yeah, I had to be very self-disciplined to get to that point. And I know exactly what to do in situations like that to switch off from wanting food. But yeah, because I had massively calorie restrict, because I normally eat three to 4,000 calories, and that time it was only around 1,250 calories, my body and mind just kept making me want food more and more and more and more. So I also found throughout the day, my energy levels were not so good and I wasn't feeling as good as I normally do with eating one meal a day and the following day in the fasted state. So yeah, as I've mentioned in many other videos, the number one reason why I used to fail with one meal a day was due to under eating. This is why I do not recommend it at all. And with me eating three to 4,000 calories, I still have a super low body fat percentage. A lot of people say you need to calorie strip away in one meal a day or just eat one plate of food and that is complete misinformation because whilst you're in that fasted state your body burns through all the glucose from the food that you consumed and all of the other macro nutrients and then after that point your body goes into fat burning mode where it burns its own body fat as fuel so you do not need to calorie restrict or calorie count whatsoever so yeah i made a simple human error and i will do my best to not let that happen again in the future and yeah I didn't beat myself up but I was like okay I need to eat because I started to also feel my body started to go into quite an extreme adrenaline and cortisol response so that's the point where I decided to eat and in case you're wondering what I broke the fast with I broke it with six mangoes one after the other Namdok my mango super ripe super sweet I had one coconut water from 7-eleven and then I also went on to have three apple bananas, one of my favorite bananas in the world, tastes of combination of apple and banana, super sweet, super delicious. I then also felt a natural desire for coconut palm pressed sugar. This is not granulated sugar, I would not consume that at all. It's these cubes, and I'll try and put an image here so you can see them. And I had six of these as well. And I found after then, my energy levels went through the roof after having all of that food. My cortisol levels started to go down, my adrenaline levels, and I started to feel switched on. And then I felt such a desire and drive to work like absolutely crazy rather than lie down and rest prior to eating this food so yeah it was actually a good thing for me to actually eat and listen to my body signs I've mentioned in another video before if you notice some bad signs whilst trying to fast for a long period of time and eat one meal a day then you should break the fast with some healthy food that's easy to digest, that's high in fiber and high in water content. Because these foods are the easiest to digest, so they're not gonna massively low your energy levels. And yeah, I ate that around 3 p.m. And then later on, we also went to an Indian buffet. And due to me calorie restriction the day before, I ate more food than I ever have done there. The plate was 
absolutely huge. They did these huge metal plates and I filled it up as tall as I possibly could. Then I had more afters. Then we went to another restaurant, I had five scoops of vegan ice cream, two chocolate donuts as well. So I had so many calories. And yeah, it's a massive sign that my body really, really needs them due to calorie restricting the day before. So I made sure that I refueled up and just ate as much food as possible. And I found that my energy levels didn't actually drop afterwards as well. And a lot of people ask me, do I feel tired after eating? Well, if I overeat, yes, I do, but I did not eat. I ate enough that my body needed. And as I had the last mouthful of ice cream, my body said enough is enough, and then I stopped eating. But if I had pushed through that and kept eating more, then I would have felt tired afterwards. And I managed to work for about an hour afterwards on my computer doing online jobs that I needed to do with my business. So due to me eating loads of food, I'm now back on track with eating one meal a day and I'm feeling absolutely amazing today. So yeah, that's it for my own personal story of what happened with calorie restriction and me eating two meals within a day rather than one meal. And hopefully you can learn something from this and be also inspired and motivated by me as well to just get yourself on the one meal a day diet journey so you can have the most optimal state of health in your mind and body holistically and also reduce your body fat percentage and increase your muscle mass at the same time. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about why I failed with one meal a day yesterday and what I've actually done to resolve it. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are one meal a day informational ones, one meal a day what I eat in a day ones, what I do in a day, calisthenics workout ones, calisthenics progression videos, and so many other videos to help you go in the direction to learn about an abundance of things to gain and maintain the body that you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels that you desire as well. And I also hope to inspire you and motivate you to become the greatest version of yourself and push yourself to your greatness. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.